Two years ago, back in 2019, uh, my best friend, Abby, unfortunately passed away due to an opioid overdose. And that's what inspired these two to organize a school-wide initiative at their wellness center. 133 staff and students showed up and 62 kits were given out. We had an astounding amount of support, not only from students, but also teachers and other community members. It was absolutely incredible. With fentanyl overdoses on the rise here in the province, experts say it's more important now than ever to pick up one of these naloxone kits. A naloxone kit with a naloxone tr trained administer um, can be incredibly impactful. And you never know when you might use it. It can be life saving. I think everyone enjoys being able to learn this stuff because then they won't feel scared. Victoria is one of the hardest hit areas in the province. There were 176 drug overdoses in BC in April. That's the largest number of suspected deaths ever recorded for the month, a 43% increase from last year. It's definitely an issue for all age groups, right? And, you know, we're not only thinking of students who may be using, but students go home to homes where family members may be using. They may have friends that are out of school who may be using. The students hope to keep their friend's legacy alive. I think that she would be very happy. Uh, Abby was one of these most supportive people I've ever met. Uh, she herself wanted to be a nurse. She helped people whenever she could. And I think that she would be very, very happy to know that she is still continuing to help people to this day. Two more schools are scheduled for naloxone training in the capital region with plans to expand to other schools around the island in the near future.